crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, Maisie, and Joshua. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hey guys, um, I'm here to change Yuki, finally get her out of um, her Easter outfit. <laughs> I can't believe, like, she's been in this basically since Easter. I don't know about you guys, but I have found that this year has flown right by. Like, I didn't realize it had been that long that she was wearing this outfit. Like, I feel like I just put her in it recently. And then I realized, oh my gosh, like, this was an Easter outfit and it is now September. Like, this year has flown by. And I always say this every year, but... I find personally as soon as September hits, Christmas is going to be here like, like that, just so fast. I find September through December flies by quicker than any part of the year, to me anyway. Now, I personally don't mind September and October. I like it because the weather starts to get to that like perfect temperature where you're not dealing with the humidity but it's not that cold um, like this week it looks like it's gonna be the perfect temperatures this week like 19 20 21 and I'm like yes I've been waiting for that now mind you I have to say I don't think we've had as hot of a summer as we've had previously. I mean, we did have some heat waves, but they didn't seem to last as long as they usually do. And so we would have like a break of a few days where um, the temperature would get a little bit cooler and then it would be like perfect for sleeping at night where the temperature would just go down at night. So that was really nice. Um, yeah, so it actually hasn't been that bad in terms of heat. Like I found even this year in our basement, um, there was only a few days where I was like, oh my God, like it is so hot that I couldn't sleep and whatever, but it's been really, the last few weeks I found anyway, the temperatures have been really nice. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do the tag that I saw going around. I'm talking about are we ever done collecting and I'm going to try this outfit on Yuki. I haven't tried it on any other babies. The sleeves might be a little short because um, she doesn't have full limbs. Um, most of my newborn reborns don't have full limbs. I think it's only, um, Haley, the Serenity Sculpt, that has the full limbs. Um, all of my other newborn size babies have, um, three-quarter limbs. So it's kind of like, huh. Because I'm telling you guys, like, once you experience the full limbs, you can't go back. At least that's how I feel. Like, I, but I love my other babies. Like, even though they don't have the, the full limbs, um, I've had them for so long. And they're still beautiful babies to me. So, I just, um, I can't part with them even though they don't have full limbs. Um, so, but it's just frustrating for dressing, the, the, not having the full limbs. So, yeah, like my only girls that have full limbs are um, Veda, or sorry, Haley and 
Maisie, but Maisie's not a newborn size. Um, and then, of course, my Real Care Veda and my Neonate Claire, they're like full body vinyl. But yeah, these guys, it's a little trickier for dressing. So I am going to put a white onesie just in case the sleeves show. I've just been basically trying to put on outfits that I haven't put on them before to see how they look and because if I end up not liking them then I can put them in the pile to get rid of. Anyways, so the, the tag going around was are we ever done collecting and <laughs> Honestly, like, <sighs> there have been so many times where I've said, I'm content with my collection, I'm happy with it, I think I am done. I don't think I'll be getting any more babies, I don't think blah blah blah. Well guys, I've been in this hobby now since 2002. And I can honestly say, I don't think we ever are finished collecting. Um, because there's always new sculpts coming out that are more realistic. Um, and the, the artists are getting better with their techniques and making more and more realistic babies. Um, so I feel like there's always going to be a, something coming out that's even better and even more realistic that you just have to have. Um, with that said, I do have limited space. So I do have to keep that in mind with my collection. And so, you know, I am going to be adding probably at least two, possibly three more babies, but one baby will have to go um but honestly like at that point after that like for me in terms of reborns I try to limit myself to only 10 reborns due to space but also due to just like the upkeep like it is a lot you know like keeping them dust free and changing them and you know wanting to make sure that you spend time with each one and um it's a lot so I yeah these sleeves are I don't know I'm gonna let's see if after I button this up we'll see but yeah like I would prefer to stick to like 10 reborns and no more but where I'm headed right now, I think I would probably end up with about 11 reborns. Um, but I don't think I'd want to get any more than that because I don't really have the space for it. Um, and even with my American Girl collection, I sort of have a goal in sight with my American Girl collection. Like, Right now, I definitely want to get Blair. I have sold my 61 American Girl doll, so Blair is going to take her place. And then I would love to do a Create Your Own doll. I found out that they're finally shipping the Create Your Own American Girl dolls to Canada. Now, they are a lot more expensive than the regular dolls, so I have to save up for that. Um, and of course being U.S. dollars, it's going to be even more in Canadian funds. But I would love to do like a create your own doll to look like Taylor Swift when Taylor was like younger or, or something like that. Or just getting like maybe, um, a person that customizes, um, American Girl dolls to, um, to make me one that looks like Taylor Swift. Like I had seen one on Etsy that was done to look like the um, 1989 era Taylor Swift, which is one of my favorite Taylor Swift looks was the 89 era, but I also really loved the rep era. Um, 
But what I didn't like about it was like they put makeup on like and obviously like so they were trying to make it look like Taylor now as an adult and they had the makeup on it. Um, and I just wasn't sure that I liked it because to me like I look at American Girl dolls as being like representing children um like they're I look at them being about maybe like age 10 to maybe teens tops like teenagers um I don't picture them as adults so whenever I've seen um custom artists like do them up as adults it looks weird to me so I, I wasn't sure about it. Like I saw it on Etsy and I had it on my favorite list and I was thinking about getting it, but I wasn't really sure. I liked the wig they used and the makeup was just kind of overkill. So I think I'm kind of leaning more towards just doing like a create your own um, AG doll that looks like Taylor. Now, uh, Okay, my changing table is moving here. My changing mat. I don't know how I feel about this outfit. Whoops, sorry guys. I don't know how I feel about this outfit on her. Just because of the sleeves. What do you guys think? It looks kind of weird that there's like the white onesie sleeve coming up from under. And then also like the neckline is really loose. It's really big and it's one of those wide necks and I feel like regardless of what doll I put it on like even if I put it on Haley who has full limbs I feel like the neckline still gonna be an issue because I can't stand it like when the cloth body shows now mind you she does have the onesie so you can see the onesie underneath but I don't know if I like the way that collar sits. I don't know. And it's like a dark color. I'm going to leave it on for now, but what do you guys think? And I don't know why, but I think I might need to adjust the weight in her head because her head always wants to go back. There, there we go. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of this outfit. I've kind of gotten away from like darker colors on babies. This is like a navy blue with like light blue, white and pink flowers on it. But anyways, just to basically recap on this subject is that I really don't think we're ever finished collecting, but I think at the same time, um, you know, for some people you have to put a limit on your collecting for financial reasons and also for space because not everyone has a doll room. Not everyone has the space for that. And so, yeah, not everyone has space to have a large collection. And I know for some people, they feel like, they feel guilty if they can't spend equal time with each of their reborn dolls. And I've been there with that, but I've actually like worked on that. <laughs> and I, um, I don't really feel that way anymore because ultimately in the end, they are not real babies. So you really don't need to always be changing them, to always be cuddling them or giving them lots of attention. You don't have to, unless that's something that is really important to you with collecting, then maybe you wanna have a smaller collection so you can do that. But for me, I've learned that I'm quite content um, having my dolls displayed and just changing their outfits whenever the mood kind of hits me. And I am quite happy having them displayed. And I just really enjoy it. Like, 
walking by and seeing my babies sitting there looking at me, I'm quite content with that. So I don't, I try not to stress about that too much because I do have a large collection and I don't just have Reborns, but I have the American Girl dolls that I also change, but I don't change them very much. But I probably should change them more often because I have like, I've acquired so many American Girl clothes. And it's like, if I'm not using them, why do I have them? Kind of thing. Um, I also forgot I had taken out a wipe to give her a bit of a dusting. I like to use the um, water wipes because they don't have any chemicals in them. They're literally just like water. <laughs> um, so I like using those to dust my Reborns. I kind of need Q-tips for her eyes though, but yeah, guys. Um, let me know, like, how do you feel about it? Like, I personally feel like we're never finished collecting, but obviously if you have limited space or limited funds, then um, with collecting, it would mean that to bring home a new baby, one has to go kind of deal. And I know a lot of people do that, and I don't tend to do that very often, but I have had to do it. Like, for example, I parted with my very first reborn. Um, not that I didn't love her, and it was kind of sad when I boxed her up to ship her off, but I just knew in my heart that, like, I didn't really bother with her. Like, and getting back to, like, you know, I don't feel like I have to spend time with each of my reborns. I just enjoy having them on display. But the way that I look at it is, like, even if they're just on display, as long as I can walk by that reborn doll and look at them and get that, oh, I love them so much, they're so cute, feeling. Um, even if I'm not interacting with them, I, like as long as I can look at them on display and still feel that, like, oh, I love them so much kind of feeling, um, then I know that they have to stay. But if I don't feel that anymore, like if I kind of walk by and kind of go, eh, uh, <laughs> like you're cute but this baby over here is like higher quality and I love them like you know like um that's when you know you can part with one and so that's kind of how I felt with my first reborn she was super cute but I had since acquired a lot more higher quality reborns at that point and so for me it was like, oh, you know, I could get another high quality reborn like these ones that I really love. So she has to go. And then it was the same with my Ashton Drake dolls. Like I had three Ashton Drake dolls that I eventually sold because there were other sculpts, reborn sculpts that I had fallen in love with and that I knew their artist was like top quality and I wanted them made and I was like well they have to go then they have to go because I can't keep them and if they're not cutting it for me anymore why keep them and you know if I had kept them I wouldn't have been able to get like Maya or you know any of my other high quality reborns because I wouldn't have had the space so you know I sold them I put the money towards getting my reborns that were higher quality that I love and you know so far all the ones that I currently have I absolutely love and can't get rid of except for like I've mentioned previously I think Jeremy is probably going to end up going um I've mainly just been holding on to Jeremy because of the memories attached to him because I got him when I went on the trip with my mom which was like a really special time for us um, but I've come to realize, like, you know, looking at the Marie Kondo, Kondo, Marie Kondo stuff or whatever, like, just because it has a memory attached to it doesn't mean you have to keep it. Like, 
if I'm not feeling that pull toward him anymore to like change him or make videos with him or cuddle him and I'm even just like not even really you know looking at him like my other babies like when I walk by Yuki or Maya I'm like oh gosh I love you so much and then I walk by Jeremy and I'm like he's kind of a funny looking baby <laughs> um he his I think what it is is like what's really funny is also your tastes evolve in this hobby I find because what originally drew me to Jeremy was his startled look I thought it was funny and then on top of that I really loved his skin tone and his painted hair and I I for some reason kind of liked the yellow undertone of his skin at the time because I sort of not so much now but like at the time like I sort of ha could see like my skin tone in him now I don't see it at all like now that I have my other reborns like Joshua and Landon and you know their skin tones are so rich and like layered and and you know and like Maisie's painted hair and Joshua's painted hair are like super ultra realistic looking whereas Jeremy's hair just is not realistic to me anymore but at the time it was because hair painting was still fairly new at the time and artists hadn't you know gotten to that level yet of realism for painted hair so it's just the evolution of the art you know your tastes change so you know i have pictures of me adopting jeremy at the show that i can look back on and i have pictures and video of our trips and to me that's enough like you know i can look at that and i still have the memories of that trip so i you know i can let him go to bring home a new baby you know like it's, to me it's like quality versus quantity for me so um yeah so but like i said i kind of have like that end goal in sight in terms of my american girl doll collection as well because again i only have so much shelf space available for my american girl dolls so you know i want to get blair and then i've got my asian one now and so i feel like i have just about every ethnicity um represented in my american girl collection which was part of my goal was to have the different ethnicities as well as like different um historical years although i don't have all the historical dolls because i don't love all the historical dolls that they have out um and then like i said i'd love to have a taylor swift one one to made be looking like taylor swift I am sort of toying with the idea of getting one of the Maple Lee dolls. Um, I don't particularly like the Maple Lee dolls. I find their smiles to be a bit creepy, but out of all of them, when I went to see them in person, I did really like their um, native Maple Lee doll. She's uh, an Inuit doll. And I think she's from Nunavut, which back in like grade seven, grade eight, I was very much into native stuff. And I loved the singer Susan Aglukark. She's a Canadian singer who's actually from Nunavut. And um, I still really like her music. I don't listen to her quite as much as I once did. I, you know, I'm more obsessed with Taylor Swift right now. But anyway... Out of all of the Maple Leaf dolls, I actually liked her. I thought she was really pretty and I didn't find her smile to be as creepy as the other dolls. So I have toyed with the idea of getting her, but I'm not like 100% on it yet. So I feel like unless I get her, my American Girl collection will end at like getting um, Blair and the Taylor Swift doll. Um, it's hard to resist because they're always coming out with new American Girl dolls. Like they have the girl of the year and stuff like that. But you just have to like in your mind say, well, I don't have the space. I don't have the money. And so, you know, you have to make that decision that, 
you know, kind of once you reach that number that you can manage and that you have the space for and then, but you don't have any other space, you kind of then have to start making those decisions of one has to go for a new one to come. Um, and if for whatever reason, like I get to that point where I just can't bear to part with any to bring a new one home, then I'm going to have to say no to the new one and just let it go. Um, it is what it is. And, you know, like I don't have a, like a, a doll room. I mean, our office is sort of a doll room. I have most of my American Girl dolls in here and my, you know, uh, other types of dolls and my Reborns and collections and baby clothes and AG clothes, but not all of my dolls fit in this room. And for some people, you wouldn't, for some people, they don't want, they only want a designated room for their dolls and they don't want their dolls all over their house. I'm thankfully in a marriage where my husband is very supportive of my hobby. And so like, he doesn't mind if I have a few dolls around the house as well. Like Grace sits in her chair by the front door because she's so big. Like I really don't have anywhere else to put her because she's a toddler. So it makes sense to just have her sitting in the chair by the front door and she doesn't take up much space in that area. And then, you know, I have um, three dolls in our living room, three Reborns there, two in a bouncer, one on a pillow, boppy pillow. And then I have um, Joshua in the bassinet in our room. And I have that other shelf in our bedroom that has, right now it only has one American Girl on it, plus my um, Build-A-Bear Poppy. But, you know, like, and then I also have my little bunk beds from when I was a kid, and Veda sleeps on that. Um, I have, I am seriously also considering parting with Veda, my real care too. I've been like really toying with the idea for like a year now um, because I really am just not into the real care twos like I once was and whenever I do like if I think oh I want to do like a video with it it's just very forced and I don't like that like I don't want to feel forced um, playing with one of my dolls like if if I feel like she might go and then if that's the case i would sell my pink cradle that my neonate claire is in and claire would probably sleep on the bunk bed where veda is um or i don't know like i've considered getting rid of the bunk bed altogether just because it does take up space and the only reason i was holding on to it was to pass down to our child someday but Obviously, we're probably not going to have a kid, so it's like, I don't know if I even want it anymore. It really is just a dust collector, and I'm like continuously having to take the lint brush to the bedding on it because it just gets so dusty and it's annoying. So, you know, some things that I've been considering getting rid of in that. Um, uh, but then if I, I don't know, I don't know where I would put Claire, if that's the case, and Claire Again, I'm not big on playing with Claire. I'm not really big into playing with the neonates, but Claire is very special because she came from my friend Cynthia's collection and um, Cynthia passed away. So she is very special to me. So I don't think I would ever get rid of uh, Claire just because of the fact that she's from my friend who passed. So, um, She'll have to, I don't know, like either if I get rid of the bunk beds, I'll have to find another place for her. Um, or, you know, she can stay on the bunk bed kind of thing if I sell Veda. But anyways, I've kind of rambled now. So yeah, you know, long answer short is I really don't think we're ever finished collecting. And 
even if you're the type of collector that only has like one or two dolls in your collection, there's probably going to be a point where you're going to sell that doll to get one. Like, because the more realistic the sculpts get and the more realistic the painting gets and the artists get, um, you know, you're always going to see something that's even better and even more realistic. And I feel like that's the big idea with Reborn collecting is that ultimate in realism. So, you know... If it ever got to a point that, you know, I was adding even more realistic reborns and then some of my older reborns didn't look as realistic to me anymore, then I would obviously sell them. So it's just kind of an, an ever-changing and ever-evolving hobby, really. So that's kind of my thoughts on it. And Yuki's going to look over this way. See, so got like, I don't know. I don't know if it's her sculpt or if it's the weight in her head, but it's hard to get her there. Now she's looking at the camera. So I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think of this outfit. I'm not sure I like that I have to put the onesie and it kind of hangs down out of the sleeve. I also don't know how well it shows up on camera, but this neckline is really wide and baggy. But I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think. I didn't put any socks on her because it's still warm. Um... So I figure I'll leave the socks off, but let me know what you think of her outfit, guys. And um, thanks so much for watching this tag topic, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.